welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am a psychic, a medium, a channel. I also do hypnosis and healing work. So now you know a little bit about me. Let's get going with the show. Um, today, as I do every single um, week when I do the show, I will be answering questions about life, love, career, finance, any area of your life. Please have a specific question. Questions like, can you just tell me what's going to happen over the next six months or what does spirit want to tell me? Those are more like a private session, which I do. Um, you can reach out to my uh, website or call my business number. I'm happy to book that private session with you. This is for one exact question or one exact connection to a loved one on the other side. Also, I will never reach out to anybody and say you need any sort of work or reading. So if somebody reaches out to you and says, oh, there's some, some negative energy or, oh, there's this, yeah, tell them to go blow smoke up their patootie. That's just scammers. Don't fall for scammers. Everybody works really hard for their money. I don't care how much you have. Don't let a scammer get it. Next next. Um, today, I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to go through, I think I'm going to do names and songs, but you know, the bosses have been changing it up a little bit each time. So I'm going to make sure we're doing what everybody is happy with. The other thing that I would like to say is, um, the other thing I would like to say is, um, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I just, <laughs> that ADHD thing has never been more true. Ooh, butterfly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. The other thing, uh, where was I? <laughs> um, Okay, I am on social media. Um, if you are on TikTok or YouTube, I try to get all my healings and or clearings posted on them. And there is a whole list. Um, I noticed on YouTube, I uploaded a bunch of um, clearings and they're 60 seconds each. And what a lot of the first ones I put on, people didn't, I don't know if they didn't see them, but they're really good. If you want to go back and get those clearings, they're all completely free. Um, so you can enjoy those or you can go to TikTok and enjoy them also. If you hear noise in the background, there is a lot of thunder going on where I am. So please just know that and it's it's okay. Thunder's okay. Okay. Um, what else? Um, I feel like I, okay, names, songs, and there was something else. It will come out, private sessions. Um, oh, yes. And if you would like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. You can call in and ask an exact question or connect with a loved one. In order to connect with a loved one, I just need their first name and their relationship to you, like Judy, my mom. And if you have a question for them, ask that question right away. Don't let me give you the message and then go, but what I really wanted to know is that's not fair to everybody else waiting. So please have that question available immediately so that we can take care of your question. I'm also uh, live on YouTube. So if you would like to post your question in the YouTube chat, I will answer that. Now, here's the thing. As the show goes on, a couple more people jump in. Uh, please, if you post your question and I miss it, please, um, please know that it's not on purpose. Just repost it and I will get to it as soon as I see it. Remember, I'm a, I'm a one person show here. I'm handling the call log, the chat, the very little light. That's not very flattering today. <laughs> I hope y'all are laughing at that. I don't even care about that. Um, 
and trying to do it, you know, also channeling and giving messages. So please be patient. Don't get upset. It's not personal. And as we go on, a lot more people join and call in and ask questions, which I absolutely love. Please remember, it is a 60-minute show because it is on TV, and that's the time slot. So I have to stay within that also. Okay? So I'm going to get, I have a piece of hair that is annoying. Okay. Um, I am going to do, uh, I had a weird low fever all week, finally cleared today. Okay, Kate, very happy to hear that. Okay, I'm going to take callers first and then go into, um, I'm going to go back and forth. Remember a specific question and then we will we will go from there, whatever I get. Here we go. 860, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? Good, Amla. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, I, just was, I guess I'll just go into the question. A lot of changes. <laughs> I fell and oh, it's been a heck of a ride in the last month, but... My question is about um, this person named Neil or whatever you feel like a partnership with. Um, he seems really cool. I don't know if it's through him or through my presentation next Wednesday, the 29th. I'm trying to do things, juggle things, but I because I my fall, uh, bottom line, I have to put things on hold. But I think I should be all right by next week. So anything with, you got around the romantic partnership with him or anybody? Okay, let's just go into romance. First and foremost, let's start a clearing for, yep. there's a lot of anxiety and stress with this, believe it or not. So I'm going to just clear all the anxiety and stress, not me, the angels are going to come in. Oh, stop playing with my hair. Um, and start clearing that, pulling it out for you. Um so that you can you can feel that going oh my gosh i just realized i didn't do names or songs i'll get them in i will get them in so um the first thing i'm hearing as far as a partner and i'm sorry amla i i love you i really do um have you become the person you want <laughs> that's what they're saying to me for you um, i have i'm gonna tell you something amla i have not become the person i want i have not <laughs> um but what they're saying is have you become the person you want so and the way they mean this and let me let me clarify what they are saying is you want someone that's gonna unconditionally love you and be there yeah. for you do you unconditionally, and this is just one example, I could put a hundred things on the table right now. Do you feel that way about you? And also, again, the message that I'm getting is um, one, just one more, and this doesn't mean a partner isn't coming in because there is the potential for a partner to come in. Let me, let me just round up what they're saying. I don't like to cut them off. The other thing they're saying, and this isn't only for you, love, it's for everybody listening. Um, the other thing they're saying is to do the things. Okay, thank you. To do the things, the things you want to do with a partner, start doing them by yourself so that you're already in mm -hmm. that energy and it's so comfortable and you're out there doing those things. Um, and not it doesn't mean by yourself you can go with a friend or a whatever um amla one of the things that i'm getting about the potential person that you just met that that the name you gave me is um you shouldn't be and i know so many women do this because in our life we have been taught it's up to the guy to choose us, not it's up to us to choose the yeah. man. And what they're saying is yeah. every guy that comes in is not a potential partner. He's a potential teacher. And the one that comes in yeah. that pursues you is the one, not the one that you're questioning if it's them or not. 
um, because that puts us in an energy and I please don't be offended by the word, but I know exactly what they're saying. It puts us in an energy of desperation, like, oh my gosh, is this the one? Like if you've ever watched, th this is what they're showing me. If you've ever watched that movie, say yes to the dress and they're freaking out about, oh, am I going to find the dress? Am I going to find the, it's kind of like that, like that energy of, oh my God, you know, and not, not to that extent, I'm being a little exaggeratory here. Um, but what they're saying is the one that is the right one for you is the one that's going to pursue you. You won't even have a question about it because this person's gonna come in and be right, like you're gonna know from the feeling between you two, like you're just gonna feel this person is truly interested. You have the potential to meet this person I hear in June. If this person does not come in, and there's not just one person, okay, everybody, if there was just one person, that would be, you know, there are, just like we have female friends that we can have and meet and, and you know, be friends with and connect with on so many different levels as females and men do it with men, we have the potential to, to have that same type of thing with male men or partners where it, it it's not just one so you can't miss that boat right you can't miss that person right but this you have the potential right. for someone to come in in june i feel like i see now i i hesitate to give dates but i am june 18th is going to be a really big day and i see the 18th big and the 19th small which means the 18th is the day where it all starts to open up and then the 19th is smaller now i don't i don't want to go too much into that because that could be sure. the first date that could be the first meeting that could just be when you have that epiphany moment of what the heck i'm really good yeah. on my own f this and then all of a sudden when you have that it all pops in and open for you so i'm the june and then I'm hearing October. Now, this could mean you meet the person in June and in October, it takes its next step or you meet somebody in June and it goes Got until, it. you know, whenever. And then in October, something beautiful comes. Um, I believe you, what's your sign, love? Your I'm a Sagittarius with Aquarius writing. Okay, rising. sweetie, Aquarius rising. we have a full moon in Sag coming up. During this full moon yeah. in Sag, because it's your full moon, I need you to really, 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 really take a moment and let go of anything stopping or blocking you personally from this. And remember, yeah. the biggest thing, when it's the one you don't have to ask, you're going to know. Not because of the feeling. Yeah that you have for them but for the feeling they have for you and one of the things i always tell my my girlies is when we first meet somebody or when we start with somebody our emotions lead the way that's just i think that's just genetic girl code i don't know but if we pull back all of our emotions and feelings and we just look at them we would get honest answers very quickly um, so, and it would be so apparent to us where this person sits and how they sit. So please pull your emotions back and look at it like, kind of like, like a dude would be like a dude for a moment and you'll get your answer. I don't feel like he's going to be that potential. And Amla, the other thing is to make sure, I, I don't know how to say this let me let me get the right verbiage for this um do, uh, I, they're kind of going back to that thing of if the man is interested in you that way they will pursue you they will let you know in little right. subtle ways or bigger ways but if we start pursuing them or letting them know we're in and we want this and yada 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 
they kind of tend to back off a bit. So we want to make sure we're letting the man be the man, if if you will, in yeah. in, in our generational thing. The younger generations might not agree with that. But even my young niece, her current partner pursued, you know, pursued her in a way that was uh so apparent to her and everybody else. His intentions were solid and we could see it. Now previous a previous relationship, not so much. And we everybody else could see it. Now just those two examples, that one example, sorry, you're gonna be able to know now because of how somebody comes. And when we're really looking, it kind of does something to the male DNA that takes the, I don't want to say the hunt, but the, if it, 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 it's like if somebody gives a guy a Super Bowl ring, it means nothing. If they have to go for all the early morning practices and the training and the yeah. everything and play all those games and win and so much is on the line, it means everything. It means everything. I actually... I actually wanted to tell you something, um, just really quickly, is that uh, you told me before, this is, I don't know how many, like maybe a year ago, even before that, that I'd be meeting some, I'm not even trying to push it together, it just kind of just happened. Basically, you, the first thing you said is, are you ready to be that partner for the other person, like, right on? And, and the funny thing is, is that that's how I met, it might not be this person that I just mentioned, but... I'm, I, I really spoke my truth and it wasn't towards him. It's just more like, I feel like I'm in my power. And I think, and, and it actually has to do with my blindness. So I've come a long way of like, this is who I am. And, and I and I love myself, I really <sighs> do. And it's, it's, there's nothing to prove. And it shows through my actions. I sent a piece of writing. This is through kind of work, but not really. But I spoke my truth, and I'm just so proud of myself, Tony. Like, I've come such a, a, a far, yeah. long way, even since even the last time I talked to you. And I, I, I'm not, I don't want to push things together, no. But I know that I'm really close. That's what I'm going to say, is that because I feel so in love with myself, unconditionally it only can happen that way and, and and it's by accident like what you just said you know i don't need to do anything he'll just show up absolutely so. and when he does you're gonna yeah. it's gonna feel like a relationship that you've never felt before and that's really not in that nervous way but in that peaceful way okay amla <clears throat> Yes. Thank you so much. Happy Monday. Thank you so much. You, Take good care. You too, Amla. And I hope your your fall. I hope you're you're good from your fall. And I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I'm so sorry that that did happen. Excuse me. My voice is a little, um, a little, <clears throat> a little froggy. Okay. Um. Let's start here. Do you see me receiving a signed contract and money this week? Meeting with a client tomorrow. I desire to close the deal. Um, are you going to get a kind of signed contract this week? Yeah. The money, the money might not come in this week, but next. I think this, okay, you might get the contract, but, and I know sometimes with a contract, um, there is, you know, a deposit or however we want to put that. I'm feeling like you will get the contract, but the money, the agreement might not be immediately. It might be like I'm hearing down the road a bit. So like um, you're going to get the deal. You just might not, the, the money might not come in right now. That's what I'm hearing for you. Um, you, I don't know if it's a small person, such a small percentage or whatever, but it is, it is, it's your deal. It's just the money might not come immediately, but I do feel like also there are two, I don't know if this makes sense. There are two more potential contracts coming in right behind this. 
And I say potential because you have to work out the details and make sure it's a good fit for you. So I hope that's that makes sense to you. Okay. Excellent. Um, okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 312. 312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? My name is um, my name is Brian and uh, all is well. And I have one question for you. Go right ahead. Okay, uh, my question is, I had an interview in Illinois where I live at right now, uh, outside of Chicago, it's called District 65. I had my initial interview on Tuesday and then one on Friday. I thought it went pretty well. So I know how do you see the process going for me? Okay, it's it's going to go good. Um, Brian, have you been thinking about relocating? I did, and I just re re renewed my lease, but okay. I did think about relocating. I have a question for you. Um, what does Kentucky? Kentucky mean to you? Does Kentucky did did you have an ancestor that lived there? Did you have does Kentucky mean anything to you? Absolutely not. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. I don't I don't feel like you're going to be Man, is it something from the past? Why are you telling me Kentucky for him? I don't know why they keep saying Kentucky, Kentucky, Kentucky. Now, let me put it to you this way. You're asking about work. So there might be an opportunity coming in with a company that has like Kentucky in the name. I know there's some kind of alcohol that has like, isn't like a Kentucky whiskey or Kentucky something? Um, I don't feel like you're relocating. I feel like this has something to do with the place you're going to be or what you're going to do. Um, but possibly because you have free will and choice. But I just keep getting Kentucky. So keep your eyes out for that. Okay. And it could just be that they have a, a base in Kentucky also, or headquarters. And that's how you're going to know it's the right place. This one. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, let me go into this. <laughs> um, is, are you going to get this? Yeah. I feel like they're probably going to make you an offer. It's going to be between two to three people they may make you an offer. It might be a little bit lower than what you were expecting. Um, but if you need the, it, here's what I always say to everybody. If you don't have to sign a contract, accept it because when you have a position, you can easily get other positions because you're already in that energy of employment. So please, by all means, take it and then it you know keep looking i feel like if you take the position it will be good you get the offer you take the position it will be good will it be long term it won't be as long as you think it's going to be or as long as you want it to be no it won't not that as long as you want it to be it's it won't be as long as you're expecting it to be and then you will find yourself um moving on so i feel like it's going to be your choice to move on um, and it's going to be uh, for for good reason, but we don't need to necessarily worry about that so much right now. What I would say to you is when you do get this position to 100%, <clears throat> excuse my squeaky voice, wow, where is that coming from? 100% um, take the get into the energy of this position even if you start it but keep looking because i feel like there's something and i hear kentucky again i hear kentucky again that is crazy okay so if something comes up like kentucky whiskey or something like that really look at it <laughs> maybe you start working for for a company something like that i don't know i just keep hearing kentucky whatever and again it's it's not 
it's not a necessarily a relocation. It's more of a uh, something in the business. You'll find out when it happens. Okay, Brian, but um, I feel like this interview went really well. I do feel like you're going to be a top contender. There's the potential for you to definitely get an off offer. I feel like you need to keep looking because there's something that is going to come in that you're you're going to be really um if if you something that is going to come in it's not quite here yet it's not available quite yet but it's going to be and that's going to be that's going to be the position okay i know that was confusing but again you have free will if you get into this company or when you get into this company you can choose to stay there okay you can choose to stay there if you choose to and i know that that this message might seem a little bit confusing but when it all unfolds it won't be okay love all right thank you you are so welcome, and I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. You too. Okie dokie. So a lot of times, you guys, I just, I want to say this, and um, sometimes people ask, they come and say, when am I going to meet someone? And I can tell you when you have the potential to meet someone. That doesn't mean that you're, you're like what we consider an ever after person or an ever after job. What that means is that's the next position you're going to get into. And if it doesn't go very long, that was to get you through, but there's something so much better coming in that they don't want you to miss. Or if this next person might be a person that is going to help you to grow and and learn and understand yourself and them or whatever the case may be understand what you do want and don't want um and when you ask me you know when am i going to meet someone i can i can pretty much tell you that if you're out and about or you know open to it this is when it's going to happen it doesn't mean that person is forever, but when I say this is what's, you know, you have the potential to meet somebody here, don't go into it like this is the ever after person. And I've, you know, we've all thought because this person is here, because we're getting along so well, or because of this or that, this is my ever after person. That's not what that means. That, and, and as you, go on you you can see it sometimes it is sometimes it isn't so if you're asking about a relationship about work ask the question in the way you want it if that makes sense i don't know i hope so okay let's go to ani ani's question is hi i want to know if i'm i am right about moving out of house for college or should i choose one near home okay so you want to know if you should i'm going to try to i i i think this means should you choose a college close to home or choose one further away where you move and go um i'm just going to ask that a little bit differently is she going to go to a college close to home yeah you're going to end up at a college closer to home <clears throat> you're going to you, you will have a few choices, but the one you're going to choose is going to be closer to home. And the, the reason you're going to choose this one is just it's it's the better one for you. It's, it's a much better fit for you. The energy, the, the way they teach, what you're going to be experiencing will be very comfortable for you. Okay? That's what I'm getting for you, love. I hope that helps. I'm going to go to the next uh, caller. If you would like to call in and ask your question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. And I will be happy to answer that question for you. 
um, I think I'm pretty positive I did 850. So I'm going to go to 540. 540, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Barb and I'm calling from Virginia. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely, my pleasure. How can I help you, Barb? Uh, I'm just wondering if you have any messages for me from Spirit. Um, I'd love to hear from my dad, but anyone that okay. you know wants to come through is um, love. What's your what's agreeable? Your, what's your dad's first name? Uh, Donald. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that Donald would say is that you're about to have some epiphanies in your life, some light bulb moments of why things worked out the way they did, especially things from as I'm hearing way back when. Um, it's all going to click mm -hmm. and make sense soon. The other thing your father would say is that there is something coming in. Now, I they use these words and we expect just the biggest thing, but I'm going to use their words, um, his words. There's something monumental coming in. Now, a lot of times, if you're me, you think, oh, finally, the lottery is going to hit <laughs> or something like that. Monumental doesn't always mean that. Monumental can be a whole new thought process. It can be a, a big move that you've been wanting. Um, but whatever's coming in, it can be spiritual or physical, meaning like a move. Mm -hmm. But it's good. It's a good monumental. And it has to do with these epiphanies, these light bulb moments. And mm -hmm. then a dream is going to connect it all. So you're going to have these epiphanies and then this monumental thing. And then the dream is going to connect everything for you. And what is the best like course of action or how to do it or what could be. Now, one of the things I'm getting is these epiphanies have to do with children. Now, whether these are when you were a child, your if your children, grandchildren, other people's children, nieces, nephews, whatever it is, these epiphanies have to do with family dynamics. Like, what what do they call that? Like, uh, parent child dynamics or adult adult child dynamics, and something's mm -hmm. just gonna come in, and it's gonna like be that light bulb lightning moment and when it does oh my gosh like it's gonna let something go from you like a big huge like if you're carrying a 50 pound bag of flour on your back in a burlap sack i don't know why they're giving me so much detail on that but all of a sudden the flour disappears and you just throw the sack and you say I'm freaking done with this. I'm just freaking done with it. And then you just, there's no more hills to go up. It's just like, I got it. I've got it now. And you just move forward and you're so happy in that space. It's like, you get it. Okay. That's coming in for you. And that's the biggest message your, your father would like to get to you. Now, the next thing that he would say is, of course, I love you. And then he also and there's a couple of other people here, but they want you to know that they are coming through whenever you see chipmunks, that that's a sign they're near you. And then also whenever you see, I'm seeing like squirrels, that's, uh -huh. that's also a sign. And then especially, <clears throat> excuse me, especially when you see two or three squirrels like together, that means they're together with you. Okay. And that's what they want you to know today, love. Whew. That is absolutely beautiful and perfect. It <laughs> makes perfect sense. And it's just what I needed to hear. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. God, God bless you. 
No. Have a wonderful day. Seriously, thank you so much for that confirmation. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you. Take care. You too, love. You too. Okay, if you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Or you can put uh, 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 a, a question in the chat. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to go to this question next. I think this is um, the next question. Hi, Tony. I feel sometimes lost in space for a second lately or feel dizzy, something like that. Am I sick or this is just natural reaction to sun flares? Thanks, Julie. Hey, Julie. Um, you know, all last week I thought every day, like the next day was Saturday. Every day last week I was like, oh, tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, tomorrow's it, And it, obviously it was not. There is something going on that is making us all feel very spacey. Now I'm going to ask this a little bit differently than the way that you have stated that. Just because it's, I think it's a combination of different things you may be experiencing. So the first thing I would ask is, do you need to see, no, you don't. It's an herb. You might be feeling a little spacey or something because of an herb either, does she need it? No, it's an herb you might be using a little bit too much of. Now herbs are in tea remember that. So if you would say to me, I'm not taking any herbs. Um, if you're drinking a specific type of tea, you might want to, or whatever you're using um, in a, uh, a food to, to season, it might be something that is, um, I have to be careful of how I say this to not get in trouble. It might be, um, an, an herb that naturally thins something that flows through our whole entire body. That's the way I would say that. So you might want to check into that and like just uh, kind of look at that. Okay. That's what I would say, Julie. I hope that's really helpful. I Whenever it comes to things like that, I just have to be so, so careful um with how i state things living in the free world that we live in right okay um i'm gonna go to 850 apparently i did not get that caller i'm so sorry 850 what's your name and where are you calling from hey it's michelle yeah <laughs> what happened was is i was i, I was on in, in the queue and when I was holding the phone next to my face, it hit the one and it took me out of the queue. Oh. But then I hit one to get back in the queue. No, I, <laughs> then you said you didn't get me. I'm like, well, maybe I ought to hang up and call back. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy you called back because but sometimes no. I lose my space and I don't, I don't know who I took and who I didn't. So it's not, it's never personal. Please know it's never personal. Okay, Michelle, how can I help you today? What's up, Buttercup? What's up, Buttercup? I'm just so grateful that you, I'm so grateful you took my call, but, um, uh, I just an update. Uh, it's been four weeks today that, that I, I called it off with my husband of 11 years and I'm still kind of depressed And I went out yesterday and I didn't meet anybody, but anyways, um, uh, one minute he's nice to me and the next minute he can be a jerk. But then he really helps out my daughter money wise to go get diapers and stuff like that. So he's been kind of nice. But then I tried to call him. And then like yesterday, I let the phone, he always answers his phone. Well, he didn't answer it. He said that he left it in the truck charging, that it was dead. And I'm like, that's the oldest excuse in the world. But I didn't say that, but I was thinking it. I'm like, is he just, is he just uh, trying to make me jealous or is he actually talking to somebody? Um, here's what I'm going to say to you. You know, love. I guess part of me is like, I hope he gets help. I hope he gets help, but you know, I don't know at this point. It's been four mm -hmm. weeks, you know? Here's what I'm going to say, love. Um, you need to, uh, this is all about you. This has nothing to do with him. And I'm going to break this down the best way. I'm going to just mute you for a second. I'll, I'll come back. 
I'll try to remember to come back before and you're 850. Okay. This is all about you. <clears throat> you need to make such a solid decision that either this is over a B you're going to hope he gets better and wait for him. And in the meantime, try to find somebody else. That is the worst choice you can make or C you're going to work on your relationship with him. You cannot have one foot inside of this mess and another foot trying to find something solid because the mess will pull you down like quicksand and keep you tethered to it. And you won't be able to find someone else because you haven't made that choice. And I'll tell you this, and you can't use this as a strategy the moment you find somebody else and he feels all of your energy cut from him, he's obviously going to make an attempt whether he's with someone or not. Since the two of you are broken up or living in different places, is it your business if he is with somebody else? This is where you have to make the decision, that's not that's not my burnt pot no more. I don't have to clean it. I don't have to try to scrub all the burnt off of it. I don't have to try to fix that. Let the next person have their go at it. Um, but you can't, you can't, you, you, my, my beautiful, beautiful, <clears throat> excuse my throat, my beautiful, beautiful person, you, need to be the one to decide it's over or it's a break and then you need to make sure he's on the same page okay letting somebody out of the house as a threat is never a good thing if you let somebody out of your your home and they go it can't be now, if you're good, you come back because number one, they're going to be good when they want to come back, but then revert to their old behaviors unless they've gone to rehab or counseling or done the things they need to do. They will just go back or they'll be lying and come back and say they've done the things when they really haven't. And he is going to be a lifelong abuser. There may be moments of sobriety. They will be few and far in between, but he's going to be a lifelong abuser. This is, I, I don't like to say this, but probably in a very, I, I can't say it because it's medical, but he will be a lifelong abuser. <clears throat> Even if something went wrong with him medically, he would not change his choices because he does not want to. There is no person on this planet that is a person that would help him say, you're worth me letting go of this. There's no person. This is his new partner, his old partner. It's always been there to drown everything out. For you, my love, the truth of the matter is this decision lies within you for you. He can make his decisions. He has made his decisions. It's time for you to make your decisions about your life, your present and your future, and where do you want that to go? If you want your future to be different than your past, you have to let go of that foot in the past and push yourself forward as difficult as that may be. And you have to allow yourself to completely cut that energy and move on. You cannot care or think about what's going on in somebody else's backyard. I know with the amount of time invested, it will be very difficult, very, very difficult. And you cannot worry about if this person is uh, playing hanky panky with somebody else. If you two are not together and haven't talked about that, that's none of your business, unfortunately, or fortunately. But if you were playing hanky-panky with somebody else, it would be none of his business because you're not together. So what they're asking you to do is make such a solid decision that you're cutting this and moving forward or that you're 
you're going to try to fix it. If you try to fix it, it won't work because this person is not going to change. But I do understand it might take a moment for you to get. Now, even if you met somebody right now, you're apparently still worried about this last person and what they're doing and where they are. And you have to completely get them, you know, you have to accept the acceptance of, which is heartbreaking sometimes. It just will bring you to your knees and the acceptance that someone is the past will help you have your future that you want, okay? Um, so that is the message they have for you, Michelle. I, I, Michelle, was that helpful, love? Yes, it was. And I just want to say, it is very hard. I, I just want to cry right now, but it is very, very hard because you invested 11 years of your life. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And you just don't shut off your feelings. So part of me, part of me did hope that he would get help and we could get back together. But I understand what you're saying. I need to make that decision. And I think I already know in my heart that it's over. And I'm not going to, I guess part of me is like, I can't move forward. If, if, he, if he's talking to somebody else, then I know he's not serious to, to, to make things work and that I can move on. Does that make any sense? Yes. And I'm, I'm going to say this. But I guess part of me. It, if, okay, here's what I'm going to say, love, and I, I want you to understand this. We think if they're talking to somebody else or if they're with somebody else, it'll be easier to move on. That just gives us an element of pain with the ending. This person has some addictive things and people who have addictions like alcohol, drugs, sex, whatever it is, they will always find whatever is there to fill that void. Um, and I don't want you to cut off your feelings. I want you to process them and move on. So write them out, talk them out to yourself. Like don't go to every friend and say everything sit with a mirror or something and talk out your feelings, talk out every question and answer. When we do it with a friend or a therapist, we start to defend the person because that's been our nature for you for 11 years or more to defend this person and their behaviors. When we're only talking to ourselves, we don't defend them any longer. We, our mind doesn't play that game. And just talk it out or write it out for yourself and you will come to those answers that you need and you will process your feelings and you will come to the conclusion even if this person came back even if they did quit it would start again and i can tell you wholeheartedly even when this person has a medical issue from what they're doing they will not stop so even their own physical body deteriorating and not being able to handle it anymore is not enough to make this person stop. You don't deserve that. You deserve either to move forward on your own and forge the life that you want in peace and harmony or to move forward with someone who is not, you're not going to have to worry about this with that but it is your free will and your choice of what you want to do okay love and if you do want to move forward you have to really cut that caring about who what and where with this person and start processing yourself it doesn't mean you have to hate somebody i've broken up with people and i completely still love them i do but i don't um i understand you can love somebody from a distance and you can send them not necessarily send them you can just love somebody from a distance they don't, you know, 
It doesn't mean you have to have them in your presence. You can love what you had when it was good and let go of everything else and move on to a healthier place for yourself. Michelle, I really hope that was helpful for you. And thank you so much for calling in. Call in anytime. Um, thank you, Karen. Um, I'm going to go to Sally. I think Sally has a question. I would like to know when I receive a new job opportunity. Uh, Sally, I feel like this is coming in very, very quickly. When I hear tomorrow, it doesn't always mean tomorrow. It means it's just coming in very, very quick. Sally, please open your parameters of your job search and you're going to find there are more opportunities also. I really 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 hope that you can you can do that okay if you'd like to ask a question you can put it in the chat or you can call in i'm going to go to uh, next is 724 724 what's your name and where are you calling from laura pa hey laura how can i help you today um I called you before and I asked you where you, where do you think I would best benefit to move from uh, to? I mean, um, I said before the wrong state. I said two states, Tennessee and Georgia, but I meant Tennessee or Florida. It's so funny. I was hearing Florida before you said that. Um, the way I'm going to ask this um, is a little bit differently. Of these two states, one is better than the other. Yes, uh, one is more affordable. It depends on where you want to live right. in the state yes. as far as affordability, because both of them have very, very expensive areas to live in. And th then they both have areas that are not so expensive to live in. Um, right. Would she be better? I have two sisters. One in, is going to be moving to Florida. She lives in Georgia. And the one in Tennessee... I hate to say this, but we just communicate through Messenger on Facebook because if we talk, we just you know, just here's don't what get I, along. So. You know, love, what I'm getting for you is Tennessee would hold a couple good things for you, like it would be okay. Georgia would have been really good, but Florida is better than Tennessee, okay? Um... Are there, is there any place in Tennessee that would be better than Florida? No. Is there any place, Georgia, better than Florida? No. Yeah, Florida, out of these three, um, out of these three, Florida is seemingly the best one for you. Um, is she moving okay. to the east, um, east side of Florida? Yeah, that's where I'm going. More Yeah, north. that's yeah. the best because I just west. tested is is the west side good for you? No. Will the east side be better? Yeah. And no. I'm actually seeing up like not not really south but up a little bit in in Florida would be good for you. That's what I'm getting yeah, I was love. thinking more like Stewart Lake Okeechobee area. And I I'm grew up in Lauderdale. It's too crowded. It's too big. No, like no way. <laughs> yeah. Again, like more north. You know what? The one thing I'm getting for you is test the market. Look at what's available and what it's looking for for you. I feel like you're going to find something really adorable that you absolutely love. Okay, sweetie. Okay. Thank you. And it's going to be me and my, my uh, man. Okay. Coming. So I hope people. Okay, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You are so, so very welcome. Absolutely my pleasure. Um, okay, I'm going to... Go hey, Heather, how are you? Um, oh, it's Heather's 40th birthday, and we leave tomorrow for Florida. Happy birthday. So um, the first thing that I get for you is... Is there a Nate in your life, Heather, Nathan, Nathaniel, Nate? Um, I am getting that you are going to have a phenomenal time in Florida. 
stay hydrated with but okay i'm hearing you know you might not think you're drinking a lot if you decide to have a beverage but because of the you know um being dehydrated it might and the sun it might just hit you different differently so please be very very careful of that heather um be very careful of overindulgence in florida that is my beautiful message for you my very very beautiful message for you i'm going to go to the next caller who is 920 920 what's your name and where are you calling from Hey, it's Dawn, Tony. I'm calling from Wisconsin. How are, how are you, honey? I'm good, Dawn. How are you? What's going on? How can I help you, love? <clears throat> well, I kind of want you to analyze something for me. This happened when I was living at my sister's house. And as you know, I'm living in my own house now, which is like two miles from my sister's. Um, I was in a probably between a sleep state and a wake state. And there was voices coming around my head and they were they were speaking to me and I could not make heads or tails of what they were saying. But at the very end, what came very crystal clear was one voice that said, it is done, it is complete. And I literally popped my eyes open like right after. And I sat up and I repeated it out loud and I said, what is done, what is complete? And I'm just trying to make heads or tails of it. I don't know if you can shed any light on it. Yeah. Um, I'm just smiling. Um, <clears throat> the, the, I, the first thing I hear is the transition. The second thing I hear, not only uh, uh, his part in the transition, but your part in the transition. Everything is... Are you speaking about Greg? Yep. Everything is good. It's good. It's where it's supposed to be. It's, it's, um, and then I hear it's a song, but it's not, I don't know if it's a song. I'm hearing it. Uh, that's, it is a song. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world. That oh song, gosh. that song is the song I'm here. I'm going to cry. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, um, so, so did, did that come? directly from Greg and and what does that mean for me? I oh. mean, does it mean when everything's good, even everything's good right now? Okay, let me, I'm, I'm just gonna do that for a second. Don't go any place. What that means for both of you is, and for you, um, is you've gone through all the steps you need to go through to be at the space you need to be at. And they're letting you know he's home He's good. He's gone through his transition. Any anything he's needed to see and or hear to to understand everything better, he now understands it. He now gets it. He's there. Part of going home is what we didn't understand here. We get to look at and understand from up there. Also, part of going back home, and there's a cleansing. Per Seconds. that takes all of the earthly stuff meaning emotions because we shed our skin immediately but all the earthly emotions and trauma and everything off and but in order to do that completely there needs to be a complete understanding so for you to know he's at peace and safe and it's done that is what you needed to know and that you are on that road to to be in a better space. Seconds. And Dawn, if I could say one more thing, it's time for you to get up, get out and start living your life. Open up to opportunities. Okay, everybody, thank you so very much for being here today. I am so grateful for each and every one of you.